Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Bug Fables The Everlasting Sapling. Uh, last time, uh, we got into Snake Mouth Den, we got about halfway through. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish the chapter in this one, in this video. Um, we'll see how we go, there's a decent amount of puzzling to do here though. Uh, so we need to open this big door, to do that we're gonna have to go both that direction and this direction. I think we'll start by going this way. Uh, we need to have leaf so we can freeze this. There we go. Now let's get up here. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have a whole lot of abilities yet. We need to work on that. Uh, ice fall. Oh, very nice. There we go, it didn't take any damage. Uh, we did, you know, uh, have to use some uh, TP, but we didn't take any damage, so that's cool. <laughs> and honey drop, uh... Let me just use one of my existing honey drops and then I'll just take that new one. We're gonna get some better items eventually, but just not yet. Crystal berry. <laughs> Seems kind of been something on this side too. A mushroom. Hmm. I don't really want it, honestly. We've got plenty of mushrooms, I'll just leave it. We'll be seeing uh, fewer yellow crystals as we play. They show up a lot at the beginning here because you can't get out of Snake Mouth Den, so it gives you a whole bunch of other ways to heal instead. Geysers can be frozen. Frozen geysers can be used as platforms, but they thaw out after a while. By giving it a heavy strike, one can break them faster. Geysers can also carry around lightweight objects on top of them. Here are some geysers. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. These guys have defense. Uh, let me see. What's the best way to take them on? Uh... Icefall is actually very good. The first time I played the game, I didn't realize how good Icefall was. I used it like once. But it's, it's a very powerful ability. <laughs> Especially on hard mode and above, where you, you know, need multi-enemy hit thingies more often. Anyway, here's a bit of a puzzle. I'm gonna freeze this. Freeze this. Freeze that. There we go. Easy peasy. Here we want to get the block and you can get up V, I believe in you. <laughs> uh, just knock the block over there and then it becomes a little bit of an elevator. There we go. Frozen enemies cannot act and they take increased damage when hit in battle. However, hitting an enemy while it is frozen will thaw it out immediately. Yeah, it they take more damage when they hit, which is helpful if you hit them with something that does a lot of damage after freezing them. Uh, or you can just leave them frozen and they'll unfreeze on their own but miss their turn and therefore not attack you, which is also good. What's this say? By blocking with precise timing, it is possible to further reduce damage received from enemies. If you block exactly when the enemy hits, an audio cue and different message will show up to confirm you have done so successfully. This, that's what, that's, that's what is called a super block. This room is really tall, isn't it? How does this even fit in this cave? That trap door we fell through must have been deceptively deep. Hmm, are we really going to be able to get out of here? Not to be a downer or anything, I'm just kind of worried. Thinking about it isn't going to change anything. Leaf is right, our only choice is to push forward. That is our only way to get out. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. Let's keep going.
Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna leave with another ice fall because oh my goodness. That's a pretty good start. Um We'll do that. Uh then we'll do this. Yeah, V's taking a bit of a beating here. We're about to level up, so we might be okay. Oh, there's a crunchy leaf there. I'll, I'll just give her a leaf and then we can not worry about it. There we go. Easy peasy. What does the switch do? I've forgotten. Oh, right. Makes the platforms move around a bit. Cool. <laughs> Bit of a platforming thing here. There we go. Fun little platforming challenges. Much like Paper Mario, there's not like super difficult platforming, but there's the occasional challenge to remind you it's a Mario game. Or a bug game that's not a Mario game, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let me see. If I just have you attack the front one twice, that'll do... Oh, they have one defense. I forgot about that. Um, hmm. Okay, let's attack again. And then you have defense piercing, so that'll happen. I really want to get leaps over skills. They're very good. Um, this one called Frigid Coffin that we'll be using a lot once we get it. Uh, I think it's maybe the next level up or the one after. We'll see. Rank up. Um, I can't remember what rank we want next. I think metal points, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna pick metal points, and, and if I got it wrong, we'll do teamwork points next time to balance it out. There are ways to, like, respec your stats, like, put stuff, put your level ups back into a different stats afterwards. We're rank 3, so yeah, it, it should have been teamwork points if we're doing it the balanced way I was intending, but that's okay. We can come back and do teamwork points on the next level up, which will probably happen soon. Okay, yeah, it's a bit more of a puzzle here. You want to uh, knock this into the geyser here, ideally without falling down, because then you have a, a little bit of an, we've got an elevator from here, but it's a bit tricky to get onto it from below. There we go. And we've got a big old switch here, and that's the end of this side of it. it only took about eight minutes. We should be able to finish this chapter in this video. Is everyone all right? Did we cause the tremor? I guess it was a pretty big switch. We must have made progress in unlocking the door. Let's keep going. And yeah, that connects back to here. And we've done the left half. Let's get the save. <laughs> Uh, Leaf's Ice is more damaging, that's why it says super. It's like super effective in Pokemon. Because these are plant-based enemies, I believe. I mean, they're not really, it's a fungus, which isn't a plant, but they count as plant-based enemies for the purposes of this game. <laughs> okay, and that gives us some more money. Let's hit that. Thank you, save block. 
Poison Defender. Okay, this badge becomes very good later in the game. Right now it's not super great though. Uh, I'm gonna put everything on V for now. You can decide who to put the badge on. Um, the medal on. In um, Paper Mario, medals either always go on Mario or always go on the partner. Uh, depending on which type of medal they are. But in this game, you can decide who wears each, wears each badge, which is... Which medal. I'm getting the words backwards. Uh, but you get the idea, yeah. You can decide, I'm gonna put these on V, I'm gonna put them on Leaf. And you can just decide that way. Um... The reason I wanted to get TP instead of MP this early is that there aren't a lot of medals uh, we can access in Snake Mouth Den. MP becomes very powerful later on, you can get lots of medals, but there are not very many this early in the game. So hopefully we'll find enough to make use of that MP, uh, that, that, yeah, MP boost we accidentally gave ourselves. Um, if not, then we'll just have to deal, I guess. Bit more platforming, pet challenge here, there we go. Not too tricky. This place is full of switches. How impractical. Must have sucked to live here. The residents probably didn't frequent this area. It's most likely security for the giant door. A giant door wasn't secure enough? Well, whatever. If they're guarding it that much, there's gotta be something valuable behind it. Cuties. Uh, I'm gonna just throw my boomerang up. And switch. Ah. I was hoping to get two turns, but it didn't quite work. Okay. Uh, this'll work. Boop, boop, beep. Ah, uh, that purple stuff is a poisoning effect. So, uh, if you don't block it properly, you do get poisoned. Poison in this game can be quite helpful. For example, that badge I just got that does Poison Defender uh, makes being poisoned a bit of a buff. Uh, there, are some, there are some more badges like that, but we haven't we won't have access to them for a while, so look forward to them. Um, hmm. I think I'm happy with what I'm carrying right now. I'll leave that honey drop. Uh, maybe. May, hmm. We're gonna get a slightly bigger inventory later, as well as, as well as ways to optimize our space by having like better items that don't just do one pretty basic thing. Uh, but for the moment, we've just gotta deal with what we've got. Do 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 do. Turn relay. <laughs> so yeah, if you block that at all, you don't get poisoned, but if you mess up the action command and do get and do like get full damage, you also get poisoned. Which can be pretty bad. We may not reach rank four before finishing this area. Might be a bit annoying. Uh I think I want to keep the crunchy leaves I have now, so I'll leave that honey drop. Oh, I do want that. Magic seed, that's like a like a one-up mushroom, basically. It brings back, like, a completely fallen friend. Uh, what about a mushroom? There we go. There's usually a magic seed hidden somewhere near each boss, so if you hunt it down, you can get a little bit of help with the boss battle that way. You can just buy magic seeds as well, but they're kind of expensive, so it is nice to get get them another way if you can. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have V attack, uh, because Leaf has super effective against these guys. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're probably not going to get enough experience to reach rank 4. That's okay, though. We'll, we'll just have to deal. Um, it might be a bit tricky. The boss battle 
I kind of consider the chapter 1 boss battle the most difficult on hard mode, uh, just because there's so few resources available. A lot of the, like, most of the, like, later bosses have better stats and can do more damage and stuff, but you also have much better medals, so you can deal with the things they do to you a lot better. Oops. Yeah, um, the ice block pushing puzzles, some of them are a little bit janky. It can be a little frustrating. There we go. You also have to switch characters every time you want to push the block around, so... It can be a bit... a bit janky. I still really enjoy it, but... Eh. Everything's got to have a bit of a downside, I suppose. Oh, hello. Hang on, I want that. Oh no, I don't. Just a leaf. Mm. Yeah, I'll just leave that leaf where it is. Do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 do. Ba 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 da. Ba da ba 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 da da da. Oh, very nice. Hmm. Take that jelly shroom. Berry, berry, berry. Click. All oh, right, that's two switches. Pretty sure the door should be open now. Good, let's make our way back to the door. This level of security is excessive. My beanbrang's paint is getting ruined from hitting all those switches. It's quite the impressive trinket. I half expected it to break, but it's so reliable. Good, cause V's pretty puny. What was that? You wanna go back into the spider web? We're almost at the end. Please keep your fights when we get out. <laughs> Cuties. Doo -doo. Yep, door's open. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's still a little bit more to go through uh, once we're through the door, and then the boss battle. I think we should be okay. Alright, we'll see how we do. I believe there's one more medal we can collect in this last bit. There's so many cool mushrooms. I wonder how much they'd sell for. They aren't that special. Hmm. Don't be cranky, Leaf. There are quite a bit of bouncy shrooms in here. <laughs> we can fly as high as our hearts wish to. Soar to unseen heights. <laughs> uh, are you okay there, Kabu? Y yes, I apologize. I got excited. <laughs> Let's put that energy into our goal. <laughs> I didn't read this tattle stuff for a lot of a lot of the areas, and it's it's nice to look at it because it's pretty funny. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, seriously? Uh, that's a formation. Um, okay, well let's. I think we want ice fall. Oh, I didn't time that right at all. That was bad. So when it says awesome instead of, I think, just block is the other one, uh, that means that you've successfully super blocked. And it, yeah, it does even less damage, which is very good. And there are some metals that make super blocking even better, so... Uh, if you can super block effectively, that's very helpful. You got nine exploration points. Bouncy shrooms in here. Oh, look, there's a medal. Don't forget to get that. 
Poison Resistance Medal decreases an ally's chances of being poisoned by 50%. Uh, we won't put that on V because she gets a buff from being poisoned. We'll put it on Leaf. Uh, as you can see, we still have three medal points left, which is what we got from the level up. Uh, so I think I may have wasted that level up because there are no more medals to get until after we finish the chapter. <laughs> it's okay. No big deal. Ooh, this is the time for an ice fall, I think. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so... Smash. So yeah, you can see ice fall is actually very good. Uh, on my first playthrough, yeah, I used it once, and then I was like, well, that wasn't very good, and then never used it again, but it's actually fantastic. So... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'll just leave the mushroom. We should be fine without it. I remember there being something else in here, but I forget where. Also, I may be misremembering. I just want to have a quick look around with my eyes peeled. Uh, no, nah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, you'll notice there's spider webs and stuff around. That might uh, give you a bit of a hint as to what we're about to face. <laughs> Honestly, like, if you saw the previous episode, you probably already know what's in store. By Venus, have we finally... It's the treasure room! We did it! We super ultra mega did it! Yeah! It's too early to celebrate. Leaf is right. This place has been consistently dangerous. We must stay vigilant. Last one of the treasure is a fat stink bug. F fat? V, wait. Okay. Here's the treasure. Could this be the artifact? Some sort of mask? It doesn't really seem special or valuable. Just wow. <laughs> Uh, Leaf? Are you alright? Uh, yes. This mask has very potent magic. We reacted strongly to it. That settles it then. This is probably the real artifact. Dibs. Leaf shouldn't touch it anyways. The Queen has claimed it already, V. The Queen. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You have found the ancient mask. Oh, um, uh-oh. Eep. What? Oh dear. Curses. It's a trap. We need to leave. And quickly. Scree. You. Seriously? The spider? This is the worst possible timing. We disagree. It's the perfect time for payback. If it won't let us escape, we might as well defeat it. But last time we had to run! We are stronger now, V, and Leaf is with us. Some battles we cannot run from. Alright, let's take it out, before the room floods. Yep, this is the chapter one boss. Let's go with cool music. This spider just gets scarier the more I look at it. I'm not gonna run away this time. I'll knock it out of the sky whenever it climbs up its web. Let's beat it up and get that treasure. As you can see, this enemy also has poisoning effects, uh, which is one of the reasons we came in with all these poison medals on. Actually, that's why the game gives you all those poison medals in the first place. Unbelievable attack. 
Basically, there's not too much strategy here because we haven't unlocked many abilities yet. You just have to try to not miss too many action commands. Uh, the more you miss, the harder it's going to be. Also, this boss music is great. Also, yeah, it can summon more enemies. Um, so that's a thing. not good. Ooh, that's really not good. Hmm. Um, let's give V a crunchy leave. gonna have some problems. Uh, we do have a, a, a magic seed, so we can bring back V, which we're gonna need to do because we have to hit the spider, which is in midair. Use a honey drop and then tornado toss. Oh god, there's one health left. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling we wouldn't do it on the first try. So, this is what happens when you die, and the tail was never finished. Uh, if it's against a boss battle, which is usually when you die, you get these options. You can retry. Uh, which just starts the boss fight over again. You can change loadout and retry, which lets you change your medals before you start the fight, or you can reload your last save. If it's not a boss, you don't get to choose to retry, you just have to reload from your last save, but um, most of the time, if you're losing, it's going to be to a boss. So, let's give this another shot. Probably want to use honey drops sooner if we can. Uh, also notice we didn't waste a turn to spying at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the fight, it is saved when we retry, which is helpful because uh, you get one extra turn of attacking before you know you get defeated. It doesn't matter too much in normal mode, but in hard mode it can be a big problem to waste a turn. doing.
Ooh, that's not good. Um, let's get V out of the front lines, just because, yeah. Uh... Okay, we can get rid of that guy without too much trouble. Okay, okay, I think we're doing better this time. Maybe. You can see how difficult this game can get. Um, six damage left. Hmm. Two, three, four, five? I think if I put V in the front line and do another tornado toss. Two, three, four, five. There we go, then we just have to hit it again with anything, basically. Okay, we do still have to take out this leftover guy, but that shouldn't be too big a deal, because it's just one enemy. Even with our limited resources after the normal fight. That's just rude. Okay, we have to use an item so we can use something that can hit it in the air, so I'm just gonna magic seed V. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Uh, I could also have used Ice Fall, but that would require me to use a Honey Drop as well, and it, it also would have been using up an item, and that seems simpler. <sighs> okay, second try, not too tricky. We... we did it. For real this time. <laughs> we really did it! What a scare. But working together, we were victorious. We did it. Thank you. We don't know how much we don't know much of what's happened to us, but beating up that spider was great stress relief. No problem. I was gonna beat it up anyways. And we got the treasure too. C curses! We forgot about the flood. We should probably leave while we can. Oh heck. Ah! The adventurous duo, V and Kabu, dove into Snake Mouth Den for their team's first exploration mission. A place known for having consumed any previous explorer that dared to enter. Even so, the team stuck together and was surprised with a new friend, Leaf. Together, they found one of the fabled artifacts that the Ant Queen has been looking for. Triggering a trap, they defeated the vile spider before being swept away. What will happen to this trio who met due to chance? Will they stick together in their journey? Little do they know that their adventure is just starting. End of chapter one. Uh, what? V, Leaf, are you alright? Oh, I'm all soaked. Cripes, we really got lucky. I'm a bit hazy. We got the artifact, then that spider attacked? Eep, the artifact, I dropped it. Leaf, did you grab the artifact? Seriously, V? Worry about the artifact later, let's make sure Leaf is okay first. Ugh. Next time we'll just freeze the whole dumb river. Oh, I'm so relieved to see you well. So, did you catch the artifact, or...? Uh, the artifact. It's over there. Alrighty, not a scratch. Your concern is touching, V. Oh, drop it. You look super fine. Well, at least we've completed our mission. Ugh, we're gonna need a good rest. After we figure out where we are... If we recall, this is close to the Ant Kingdom. We should get back to the city pretty quickly. It's nice to feel the sun again. 
It'll be good to go back. Honestly, V may be raving about the artifact, but saving you is the true victory in my eyes. Um, thanks? Jeez, calm down over there. Let's report to the Queen and get our reward. Elizant. Would you like to save? Yes. Saving. Please stand by. Save complete. And that's going to be a video. Uh, it says achievement unlocked a couple times. I'm just going to show you what that does first. Uh, those come up in this record section here. Uh, if you scroll on down, you see chapter one complete, which we did, and vicious spider defeat the chapter one's boss in hard mode. Uh, we've done both of those things, so we got two achievements. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, next time, we're gonna head onwards and actually visit the Ant Kingdom proper, which we could not do at the beginning of the game. Uh, now that we've finished chapter one, we can visit it, so that's exciting. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!